Hey, lefty. Hey, you, lefty. Are you a lefty? Are you a leftist? Are you a rightist? What are you? Are you a hippie? <laughs> ah, politics. Politics, right? You got to be on the left. You got to be on the right. Which, which side are you on, boy? Which side are you on? Which side are you on, boys? Which side are you on? I'm not on anybody's side. I am on the side of the American people. That's the side I want to be on. So, t today I want to... My name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, YouTube blogger, musician of sorts. So yesterday was interesting, right? I went down to the uh, fort. See, like, that's, this is, like I said yesterday in that video, you saw the police kind of confront me when I was by the fort. But the fact is, I'm always down here. This is where I live, right? See the, see the bridge? On the other side of that fence, right? That's where the fort is, Fort Hamilton, right? It's a little fort over there. It's no big deal. It's, you could see it when you cross the bridge. You could see it in full view, exactly what's going on in there. And uh, like I said, it's mostly for recruitment, but you see how aggressive they are. You know, that's pretty crazy, right? That was a pretty crazy, crazy thing to happen. Hey, what I want to talk about is, uh, right, this, this notion of left and right and, and, and north and south and up and down, right? What political party you're on and, and how, it, how it is that we could affect politics because what I'm what I'm certain about is like because I watch I watch everybody I watch you know sometimes I watch Alex Alex Jones I don't really agree with half of what he's saying <laughs> I think he's yeah, whatever that's that's my opinion I, I, I agree with a lot of his constitutional stance and all that and uh, and he's what I guess what you call the, the right the conservative whatever the hell that means I'm walking, by the way, because I want to just put that out. <laughs> People feel sorry for me. Oh, Conti, you're walking around outside. I have, a, you know, I have good equipment inside, and I can make it sound really nice. But I get drowsy on the inside. This is my. This is where I feel most comfortable walking around. That's why I do it. But this notion of uh, left and right, right? How do you how do you influence change historically? Let's look at it, right now. I'm not a fan, like yesterday when the police confronted me over there, I could have protested and made my case and, you know, and become all self-righteous and, you know, I'm standing up for the people, you know, that, that kind of bullshit, right? And maybe like, the, you know, and allow them to arrest me. I don't believe in that at all. I think that that's the stupidest freaking thing I've ever seen. When people go to Washington and stand on the steps and deliberately allow the police to arrest them. How fucking ridiculous is that? That's not... You're not proving any point. You're feeding into the hands of your oppressor, right? You're allowing them to cuff you and, and corral you and, 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 and... No way. That's not what it is. Like Gandhi, March 12th, 1930, Mahatma Gandhi, the, the defiance... See, Gandhi is a great example. Gandhi was defiant against British rule in India, right? And the British had a monopoly on salt, right? <laughs> they went into India, took over, and then they imposed a, a, a high tax on salt and made it so that the people couldn't manufacture their own salt right out of the sea. You couldn't touch it because... Because you had to buy salt from Britain, and India, and Gandhi said, "Fuck that." They walked, you know, 200 miles to the sea, and they manufactured their own salt. And the British tried to step on his hands while he was break his machine while he was making the salt on the beach. And there he, there he was, you know. What is it called? Passive resistance, you know. Right? Civil disobedience. He made his point. Gandhi made his point. But and that's and that's 
kind of what I'm saying. But what I'm what I'm also saying is that is that there's a, there's a there's a better way to do it. Like for example, my example of the military, where if 180,000 young people are are joining the military, right? To stop the oligarchy, it doesn't sound like it's connected, but it is connected because the oligarchy is fueled by a military-industrial complex, right? Right. Without without military U.S. military might, those guys can't do what they're doing. Right? Shit's over. Game's over. Right? So if you could get through, get into the minds of 17 to 24 year olds before the oligarchy does, because they're already doing it. You see it. Right? They're, they're already doing it. They're already setting it up for 2020 where they can retain power. Parkland shooting. You'll see more of that. Rally the kids. Voter drive. Get them to, get them to vote. <laughs> it's stupid, right? It's, it's an old man's chess game. The, the idea that somehow you're going to capture the elections and... Look, elect, the, the politics... Politics will follow, right? Po- politics will follow people's opinions. I'm sorry if that's wind. I can't get away. I can't get away from it. <laughs> it, it just comes on. Uh, it comes on to you. So this may be a little rambly, but but again, social. See, if we want if we want social issues to change, right? We all agree. Look, it's it's April in New York. It's April second, and it's fucking thirty five degrees out, right? Is that climate change? Do you want do you want climate to to you know that the that there's a you know hole in the ozone or something, and you wanna you want people to address that problem? Good luck. Oil, oil companies are in charge. Fuck you. We're not gonna we gotta burn our oil, man. You know what are you some lefty? Hey, what do you want to do? Oh, this guy's talking about the environment. What the fuck? Get the fuck out of here. Right? The fact is that, that yeah, sure, they privatized the, you know, privatized the water in Flint, Michigan. They're fucking making kids drink lead. They don't give a shit. It's money. Right? If you want these problems to go away, you don't go down there with a picket sign. Right? Right? You got you to gotta get them where it hurts. You got to, you know, you got to get under their skin. Right? It's money. It's all about the money, right? See, everybody knows. We already know. See, the, the fact is in one little solar panel on a house, and it, you don't they, you don't need to buy the electricity anymore. Game over, right? You don't have to burn any fuels. You take power from the sun, and you, right? <laughs> right? I walk around. I ride a bike. I don't. I don't own a car. I don't. You know what I mean? Because I don't. I because I believe in what I say, and I say what I believe. You know. But I still take the bus, and I, I you know, I'm still a, a prisoner of sorts. But certainly, we can harvest. You, you know, we can manufacture plenty of electricity by turning, say, like a state of Arizona, where sun, <laughs> the sun never stops. Right? It's relentless. Right? And you can solar panel entire acres and acres and acres of property. And generate enough power to feed back into a grid, and greatly reduce the need to burn oil and fossil fuels, right, and coal and all that shit, right, or nuclear, right. But we don't do it because why? Because it's the oligarchy controlling the oil companies. Fucking Exxon Mobil, they don't want to hear that shit. They want. They're gonna suck every ounce of of oil out of the ground. They're gonna use fracking. You know, horizontal drilling go down and under and under your house, maybe up into your fucking toilet bowl, right? They're not going to stop. This is oligarchy. This is the problem. You can point it out all you want, but we've already, we've always known that fracking is a disaster. We've known that that burning fossil fuels is burning a hole in the ozone it could kill us all someday, right? But nothing changes. No policies change. Every, you know, you can. Yeah, it's good to inform people, but again, how do you take the oligarchy down? That's the, that's the real issue, right? The courts don't work, right? That's a, that's a rabbit hole. If nothing else, you know that I understand is is I understand that. Watch the two hundred videos before this, and you'll you'll see. You know, trying to fight the 
you know, fight the establishment in their own courts is ridiculous and uh, too impossible. <laughs> so that's all I'm saying is that what is passive resistance, right? Passive resistance, coming together and gathering, but passive resistance really is is what we're doing right here, is where we're communicating to one another, right? I'm putting out a message and we're, and we're communicating and what I say colors other commentators' co stuff and it, it colors the comments and then you comment and it colors what I'm going to say. And this is how we move the ball forward, right? This is how we move the ball forward. I had another thing to say and I forgot. <laughs> It's cold out. It's really numbing, numbingly cold right now. My hand is frozen. Anyway, but I'm. Uh, my name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, YouTube blogger. Kindly subscribe. Kindly spread the word. And uh, peace out.